here. The 85th Academy Awards takes the stage tonight in Hollywood. Organizers are really busy overnight, as you would imagine, putting the finishing touches on the red carpet and everything surrounding it and getting all those hundreds of lights and cameras ready for action. The curtains go up in less than 12 hours at the Dolby Theater on Hollywood Boulevard. Our entertainment reporter, Sandy Kenyon, is in Hollywood for the awards, the parties, and the fashion. He's live on the red carpet to show us how his wardrobe is coming together for tonight's show. Sandy, we're talking about that leather jacket. Thank you for wearing it. We Best. love it. Thanks, and I'm going to have a lot more about that uh, after you see me get a new tux. It went down like this. Uh, my wife, Eileen, took a look at my black velvet tux from a few seasons back and decided it was time for an update, which left me looking to the stars for inspiration. Trying to act like George Clooney would be a mistake for any man, but there's nothing foolish about trying to look your best on the red carpet, and that's where Arnold Silverstone comes in. Women's fashion changes very quickly. Men's, men's fashion changes, but it's the details, and it happens more as an evolution. And who says a mere mortal can't try to look like a god? Hugh Jackman's wearing a, a peak lapel, which is more modern. Uh, I think that would be, would be right for you. He's been right before, maybe a tux a few years back. So who am I to argue? And yet... This may be a little radical for the Oscars, Arnold. Well, you should rock and roll the Oscars. This would be different. The difference is in the details. We've raised the armhole to make it leaner, a little bit waist suppression, shorter coat, higher button stands. What stays the same every year is the need for durability. No matter how many times you dry clean, the garment will maintain its shape. And by the way, if you've heard it never rains in Southern California, that's not true. But Arnold's got me covered. All of a sudden it rains, it's totally waterproof. I'm thinking this is easier than I thought it would be until I had to choose from among 500 fabrics and another dozen just for the lining inside. That's really just for you to have fun. Not my idea of fun, so I told him to pick one and let's go for it. Great, I'm going to try it on be right back. Traditional enough for me, modern enough for TV. Looks great. I may not look like Clooney, but I'm feeling a bit more like him now. Are you comfortable? Very comfortable. Our thanks to Arnold Silverstone for uh, making me look so good, uh, even if I can't look like George Clooney. Now, to see that Samuelson tux on me, you're going to have to tune in to Eyewitness News at 6, where I'll be live from the red carpet. Now, I'm actually wearing one of my favorite jackets. I got this 10 years ago, exactly 10 years ago, anniversary. And as Michelle and Phil know, because they talked about it earlier, this jacket has brought me great luck. Now, follow me all day at Cindy Kenyon 7 on Twitter. For now, reporting live from Oscar's Red Carpet, I'm Sandy Kenyon, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Michelle, Phil, thanks for the plug about the jacket, by the way. It's one of my favorites. No problem. It's ours, too.